Hey guys, so I am going to show you how I get organized for school, regardless of what the subject is. It's kind of the same setup. This is my Erin Conjuring Planner and it is personalized with my name on the front. I picked this out. This is a life planner. I am not saying you have to go and buy this planner. I know it is a little pricey, but for my schedule and everything that I do, this is just what works best for me. Like I said, you can go to Target or Walmart. You don't have to get this planner, but if you do have a crazy and busy schedule like me between school and filming and family and everything else in between, and you want to to check out the Erin Condren Planner, I do have a $10 off link below. Now, this video is not sponsored. I purchased this with my own money. If you don't wanna use my referral code, you do not have to. Um, once you sign up and you order your first planner, you will also get a code. Everyone gets a code. It's like a referral code. And um, so anybody you recommend, or anyone that you want to recommend this planner to, they can get $10 off and then it also puts a $10 credit onto your account. But like I said, this is something that is totally optional. You don't have to use the code, but if you want to, you are more than welcome to. So I'm gonna go over this last and show you how I organized everything, but I'm gonna show you my books and everything first. I will be starting OB first. This will consist of my first eight weeks OB and adaptations. So OB is basically how to take care of a mother before, during, and after pregnancy, as well as how to take care of the infant before, during, and after pregnancy and all the complications, illnesses, diseases, situations, circumstances, whatever the case may be in between, that is what I'm gonna learn in this class. So I've already started some um pre-studying even though i don't start school until like another four days um i've already got to chapter three and i mean this is just my book it's nothing special this is also a um study guide it basically breaks everything down asks you questions kind of like a review um it's required but i'm actually borrowing these books from a girl who is a class ahead of me we started together but she went through class during the summer and she was nice enough and sweet enough to let me borrow her books during the summertime she didn't fill out very much of the study guide i think it's actually only one chapter that she filled out which is like in the 20s somewhere in the back um and it was so nice of her to let me borrow both of her textbooks because that means I don't have to purchase a textbook out of my own pocket and I really truly appreciate that from Beth if she's watching I don't know if she's watching but if she is then um, thank you Beth I love you <laughs> so um, like I said I've already done some pre-studying um, I do like to write notes as well as type notes I'm kind of I do both um, it depends on how much material is being covered. So like I said, I've already started even though class has not started yet because if you don't start ahead of time, you will definitely be behind. So this is chapter one stuff. Um, I'm a highlighter. I write little diagrams as I can. Um, I just try to pick out the basics. I just finished chapter two and I haven't went through and highlighted what I felt was important yet. Um, that was a really short chapter and I will start chapter three tonight is my binder. Um, I kind of have this covered up because my instructor's name is on the bottom and I just don't want to give you guys his name because you can find out what school I go to and all that other jazz. Once I graduate and stuff, I'll tell you guys what school I went to and what I thought about it and everything else. But at the beginning of school, my professor gave me, well, one of my professors gave the whole class this um, mock-up license um, for registered nurses. And I had very sloppy handwriting, guys. That's why I think I was destined to be in the medical field because I have really sloppy handwriting and I write really fast. So, yeah, it's kind of a mess. So, um, he basically told us to write our name here. It has RN at the bottom. And it says, if you see it, if you hear it, 
if you say it it will happen believe and basically as he is saying that nursing school is get, going to get very hard but believe in yourself and you can do it no matter what happens keep telling yourself you can do it and at the end it is initialed IBIY which stands for I believe in you he is so motivational he is the one who actually gave me the template that I mentioned in a couple of previous nursing vlogs and he is amazing by far one of the best professors I've had when you open up my three ring binder I have everything separated off by exams exam one two three and four yes we are in eight week classes we only have normally we only have four exams seldomly do we have quizzes and we also have an ATI exam which I'll talk about in just a little bit but this stuff right here is everything that I need to know before I get into the classroom and if you can see it right here it says please read before um, please read before first class day which is September the 2nd I will be tested on on the third I believe um, don't get me to lying, but I'm, I, I'm not sure if it's on the second or the third, but I will be quizzed over this. So I am covering this up again because my school logo is at the top. My school logo is literally on everything. So yeah. Um, so basically what this is, um, is a blueprint. We get this in every class. Sometimes the blueprints are accurate. Sometimes they are not. Um, but what it does is basically it breaks everything down. It tells you what chapters you will be tested on and how many questions on the exam comes from each chapter. So that kind of gives you an idea of which chapters to focus the most on. So um, chapter 6, 31, 32, 33, and 34 um, all have the most questions from them. So, you know, those are the ones I'm going to focus on more. Chapters 1 through 3 have five questions from all three chapters. So that's something that I can kind of skim over and, you know, it should be refreshing stuff, um, but I can kind of skim over that stuff and then focus more on the chapters that have more questions. As you can see, this is a total of 10 chapters that we will cover in like a week and a half span, um, which is actually a total of four days because I only go to lecture on Thursday and Friday. So Thursday, Friday, um, the following Thursday, Friday, and then it's an exam. So after that, this is just overviews and um, PowerPoint notes that um, is already on our Blackboard or what we call Moodle. A lot of people just call it Blackboard, but I just print out all the um, notes or whatever. I print out um, like every single thing that is on there. Um, this is a OB pretest about contraceptives. This is about menstrual cycles. Um, so this is just a lot of need to know stuff. And then I have this sectioned off with clips, which I will be using more clips throughout the um, semester. But they just look like this. They're really pretty, very sturdy. They're not flimsy. I do have some little flimsy ones, but they're really annoying because they fall off of everything. They get stuck to each other. So I just sucked it up and paid a little bit extra to get more of the sturdy clips. And um, this is all medication calculation math. Um, so it, it's basically IV drips. Um, it is um, medication orders and stuff like that, as well as like Pitocin calculations, which I've never done before. Hopefully it's not too hard to understand because if you watch my vlogs, you know that math is my weakest subject. <laughs> so you give me some science, some English, and I'm golden. You give me math, I swear to God, I feel like I am back in like middle school again. I just study everything that I can, try to keep everything as organized as possible. Once I have finished with the first exam, I then go through and print out everything that will be on exam two, including the blueprint, and then I'll just place it in as everything goes along. ATI basically looks like this. Um, if you are, I think ATI is universal. It is, they have their own web, they have their own website and everything. Um, 
and basically what ati does is that it takes everything in your textbook and condense it down to very simple understandable terms like it's kind of like a nursing for dummies type of thing <laughs> that's what i like to think of it as because it takes all the complicated stuff condense it down into like maybe four or five pages and makes it very easy to understand so if, if i read something in my textbooks and i don't understand it when i come to my ati book it's like it all clicks and it all comes together so um we get this for every subject that we take i have so many ati books it's kind of ridiculous this is a book that is actually provided within my tuition so i do not have to go out and pay for this um book myself so what ati does is basically prepare you for nclex style questions and um as i'm studying i like to go through as well and study this i have not started to mark it off now because all the chapters that i'm reading now are kind of like refreshers once you get to more of the illnesses and diseases and complications and stuff, um, I will also be marking these off with clips. I'm going to finally show you guys how I organize my Erin Condren planner. And um, I actually just finished doing this. So yeah, like I said, it is personalized. It has my name on the front just because it is very expensive. I do not want anyone to steal it. You would probably never... Well, I would probably never come across anybody named Jasmine G. So yeah, I just have that personalized. And once you open, it says work hard, play hard, even though this is going to be a lot of working. First page just breaks down of all of the months. And then this says life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful. So I started this off in July because I knew I was going to need it for September. Um, you can either do the full year or you can do half of a year and a full year. I hope that makes sense. So I started off in July, but I ended up only needing really September's. Um, yeah. So what I use, I'm not like the most creative person in the world, but I like to keep it as pretty as I can. Um, so what I do use is washi tape. And then I also have some of these scotch tape things that are really cute with like really pretty designs on it. And then in my little case holder, I have like a million highlighters, um, colored Sharpie pens, um, regular black pens, pink pens, all kind of stuff in there, um, markers, whatever I can do just to make me want to organize my life. <laughs> so, um, I guess I'll start off with the first week and I'll kind of go into detail and then I'll just give you guys a glimpse so this video is not super, super long because I'm pretty sure it's already long. So Monday will be a holiday. That is why we start on the second and not the first. Normally all classes start on Monday, but since it is Labor Day, I get an extra day off and I'm not complaining. So um, Tuesday, the second will actually be the first day of school and I will have virtual lab from nine to three o'clock. With this being said, um, virtual lab is kind of like we go into the classroom, we find out who our clinical instructor is, which I already know who mine is because I logged onto my Blackboard and found out. But tells you what clinical site you have, she breaks down what she expects from you, goes over what you need to know and all that other stuff. So although this is filled out, it will be filled out a lot more as I go along because we will get time, um, we will get due dates for clinical paperwork as well as um, what extra stuff we need to turn in or have with us at clinicals. So we do that on Tuesday as then on Wednesday, we will have a medication calculation quiz and then on Thursday will be my first lecture day. So I will go to class and we will go over, we will briefly touch over chapters one through three. And then we will do um, chapters 33, chapter five and 34. On Friday, we will have a lecture again from nine to 12. And um, we will go over chapter 34 again. So I'm assuming 34 is gonna be a long chapter. 
Saturdays are always mommy football days and my both of my boys are now playing football. I have a tackler as well as a flagger and I'm really excited because basically my whole Saturday will consist of football. Um, watching them play so all I do is write down what team will be playing that week um, and our first game is against Cornerstone so if you can see on Sundays all there is is a weigh-in day um, as well as my regular school life I will be starting P90X3 I will have a slim down Sunday posted probably the same day as this video um, I'm gonna try to get that up but um, I will be starting P90X3 that Monday. So everything is broken down into the days this way. So this is the morning, day, and night. Most of the time, my night will be study stuff as well as what is due the next day. It is not filled out right now because I don't know what's due yet. So this is my first day of P90X, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Okay, so originally at the bottom it says list meal plans, exercise, daily dues. Um, I really didn't like that, so what I did was use my washi tape and kind of blurb that out. Um, I put my start weight here and then my Sunday weigh in here. I will only, when I'm doing P90X, I will only weigh myself in once a week, which will be on Sunday morning and um, whatever else I need to fill out. Like if I ate bad on Monday or Tuesday or whatever, I'll write that down. If I stay within my calories, I'll write that down. Anything, little quotes, notes, all that stuff can go here as well as weekly goals or notes. Like say, if I wanted to work out every single day, I would put that there. Or if I put on there, my goal is to, um, you know, study for a minimum of four hours a day. We'll put that there. If I hear any quotes throughout the day or just need something to motivate me, you can also write that here. And I'm very excited that she does have this located on this side. So this is basically the following week. I will start a class called Adaptations. I do not have a book for Adaptations. It is basically a class that should, um, it is basically a class that teaches you how to adapt in a professional nursing environment, how to go from student to professional nurse. So that's basically what every Monday is going to consist of from nine to one. So those days are highlighted because it is a different class. All of this is um, OB and Mondays are always adaptations. So um, this is pretty much how my calendar looks. If you see the box that is um, red and highlighted in orange and it has a band-aid underneath it, those are my exam days. I am a very anxious test taker. Sometimes I break out in hives and I was even prescribed medication at one point of time which I no longer take because I just don't like how it makes me feel but um, I get very anxious my hands get sweaty I start to itch really bad on my arms or my, and I even break out into red hives all over my arms if it takes too long to start the test so I feel like test days are days where you just need to go and it's kind of like ripping a band-aid off just snatch it off get it over with and that's how i feel about exam days so all my exam days will have little band-aids on them and i think that is just really cute um i did some different kind of decorating with tape um i messed this date up i put the wrong stuff here so i had to put washi tape and write over it in black um but i think that's pretty cool that you can write over it and it doesn't bleed um here's another exam day and if you notice my wednesdays are off i do not have any class or clinicals on wednesdays i only have a 12 hour clinical shift on tuesdays um and the half of the class goes on tuesday half of the class goes on wednesday and i just happen to get tuesday which i think is cool because by wednesday you know nobody wants to do anything on hump day so that will give me a time, enough time to sleep in, wake up, study, and prepare myself for the rest of the week. And then I always get Saturday and Sunday off. So yeah, all my stickers I got from um, Hobby Lobby as well as um, 
the dollar store and I just keep them in a pouch that is located in the back of my planner. Back is also this really pretty white floral print that I absolutely love and the front is as well. I absolutely love my Erin Condren planner. It is definitely worth the money. It is definitely worth the hype. I will probably continue getting these for a while. I know there's a lot of other planners out there and like I said, I'm not telling you that you have to get this planner, but it is just so easy to look at your day and see what you got to do as well as it is so easy to write everything out instead of those little planners that have like just the little square days for like this would be like the whole month and you can't write everything that you need to do in that day in that little bitty box so i absolutely love my planner so happy that i got it it was so worth the price like i said this is not sponsored everything i mentioned in this video i purchased other than me borrowing the books from a classmate um, and I um, I hope this helped all of you future nursing students and um, if you have started school or if you're about to start school I want to wish you the best of luck and just remember to never give up and until the next nursing vlog I'll talk to all of you later bye